and welcome to Senior Care's Living Wisely, Aging Well. We discuss topics of interest to people aged 60 and above and also adults living with disabilities. I'm Tracy Arabian and today my guest is Sharon Reedboard. Sharon is Senior Care's Private Pay Services Coordinator. Welcome Sharon, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to discuss Senior Care's Stay Pet Services Program. So Sharon, first off, I see that your title is Private Pay Services Coordinator. In the context of a nonprofit agency like Senior Care, what does that mean? So, you know, it's not unusual for um, nonprofits to have private pay services. Uh, actually, nonprofits often will um, have co-pays for services or uh, sell t-shirts or other products. And there's always a variety of ways that a nonprofit can raise revenue, um, and revenue then becoming um, funding for charitable programs. And so these private pay programs are programs that uh, people pay for. So there are fees, just like a small business, and any net proceeds go right back to the charitable programs of senior care. Oh, cool. So Stay Pet Services, I understand, is a private pay service. Yep. Um, can you tell me about what is Stay Pet Services? Well, stay, we, um, we, we started to develop it over a year ago, so it's only been in existence for a year. And we named it Stay because it means serving the animals you love. Um, and we love animals just like um, people love their animals. These companion animals are so important to everyone, but particularly to seniors and folks that um, may not have family around. Um, and so Stay Pet Services was intended to be sort of a one-stop shop for, um, for pet care, in-home pet care, um, uh, to meet the needs of people and their pets. Cool. And yeah. Are the services of Stay Pet Services only available to seniors? No. Um, it turns out because we serve so many seniors and adults with disabilities through senior care that many of our customers right now are seniors. However, um, we've also um, served the dogs of families, um, serve people's cats when they go on vacation. Um, we've provided pet transportation as well for people, busy people that um, don't have time to get their animal to the vet or to the groomer so we can pick up the pet and get that pet to the groomer or to the vet. So uh, we really serve a variety of people all over the North Shore. Cool. Um, tell me about your staff. Mm, sure. So it's interesting. We have found that both volunteers and staff work really well on stay. So we have two staff and we have a large pool of volunteers and all the volunteers and all the staff are all trained the same way. So they go through a very strict um, human resources pro process where they're vetted, um, we check references, um, there's a criminal record check, um, they all have a background taking care of their own pets, taking care of other people's pets, and then um, we provide some training for them. So I have a pool of volunteers and I have staff, which is a really nice mix. Nice. And what towns do you serve? Is it only in Gloucester and on Cape Ann, or is it beyond that? Oh, way beyond, though we have, um, we have a number of customers in Gloucester and Rockport, Essex, Manchester by the Sea. Uh, but we go all the way down to um, Salem and Swampscott, Marblehead, and out west to Danvers and Middleton and Peabody. We have, so we're covering North Shore in the greatest sense. I saw on the website when I was yeah. researching this that you board dogs. We do. Where do you board them? So sure, I'll talk about boarding and then maybe I'll talk about our website. Um, so we board dogs in private homes actually. Ooh. We have, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a portion of stay and it's called house guest, I keep confusing that, guest house, house guest, but it's house guest program. And the dog um, is a guest in a private home. And the way we make that work is, since we don't have a facility and we're part of senior care, I have senior care staff that have opened up their homes to take in a dog. So I have, again, a pool of staff who have been carefully vetted, meaning um, they've already gone through the human resource process that senior care has. Plus, I have an application where I find out 
how many square footage do they have for a dog, like if it's a big dog, um, do they have fenced in outdoor space because that's important for a dog. Um, are they home during the day or are they working full time but is somebody else home during the day? Um, also, if they have animals of their own, because some people, of course, have their own cat or dog or rabbit or something else in the home, um, what are those vet records? So I get the, um, those vet records, I store them in my office in a locked cabinet, and we have those vet records to make sure that any dog that a customer's dog would be exposed to, um, that all their vaccines are up to date and that they have no disease. That sounds nice. Yeah. So I'm not sure I understand. I, Senior Care is a nonprofit organization. Right. How can a nonprofit run a for-profit entity? Right. It's interesting. Again, like it's not unusual that a nonprofit would have um, a revenue generating um, arm. So it's not profit. Stay doesn't have profit. Um, stay has fees, and then once we break even, net proceeds go into the charitable programs in, at senior care, especially those that might be running a deficit. So the idea is to generate revenue, and then net proceeds go back to senior care. So anytime you choose stay for your pet care, whether it's in-home pet care, um, dog walking, pet transport, dog boarding, um, you know that you are helping elders and adults with disabilities. So it's a really, it's a win-win. So because you're basically raising money for nonprofit charitable services, yeah. are your prices higher than other services like stay prep services? Yeah. So, you know, that's a, it's a good question about the, the fees and the pricing. Um, we looked at the market and we um, set our prices at the market, at the market level. So we're competitive with other pet businesses. In some cases, we can be slightly lower, um, but you'll find that our prices are quite reasonable. And how would I find out about the prices? We have a website. And I love talking about the website <laughs> because I think it's really beautiful. <laughs> and um, the website is Stay Pet Services. Doesn't matter if it's .com or .org. And um, on that, on the website, there are tabs at the top, and you can click on Services, and it describes all of our services and has some pricing information. So of course, our prices are subject to change. And should they change, those prices on the website will be updated. And the other thing about the website is that there's a blog. Um, and I enjoy that because my dog gets to um, have her own uh, blog on the blog where she gets to write about her experience of, um, of, well, basically she doesn't have such great behavior. So my dog, um, needs to learn to like keep her feet on the ground when she when someone approaches her and those sorts of things. So I'm hoping that through um, her experience of going to um, good manners and through the process of becoming a good canine citizen that eventually she'll be able to um, perhaps come to work with me or even visit uh, people in their homes as a therapy dog. But that may be wishful thinking. <laughs> cool. Now um, with your pricing. Yeah. If I signed up for regular services, um, asked you to walk my dog every day or clean my cat box a couple times a week, mm -hmm. but it was a regular day in, day out, week in, week out service, do you have discounts for ongoing services? Yeah, we do. Um, so if someone hires us for a one-time um, care for their animal, it'll be a standard price. But if you um, have, say, a new puppy, and you need us to go um, visit that puppy twice a day for five days in a row, you know, every weekday, um, we will discount uh, the regular price because there's a frequency of service. So absolutely, we do provide discounts. Cool. And now, you're, it sounds like your staff might be coming into my home unattended. Yeah. Are they insured and bonded? So um, we actually don't need them to be bonded because our comprehensive insurance 
is so good, as my understanding of it. Um, so we are covered. Um, they are covered if should anything, uh, anything questionable should happen. But um, like I said, they have our staff and volunteers. There's been a criminal record check. Um, we know them well. I closely supervise them. I'm always in touch with them. Um, but they are they are insured, um, and they're also they're also insured as they are driving sometimes driving um, a senior and his or her animal to the vet. So they're also insured for that. Um, some some people like to be in the car and go to the vet with the animal, but that person has a hard time, say, catching the cat. Um, the cat's right <laughs> under the bed or in the closet or whatever. So one of my staff can come by and catch the cat. Uh, they're very talented in that way. And then um, get the cat in the carrier and then accompany um, the senior to the vet or to the groomer. Um, and if that person can't come along, that's okay too. So the volunteer, the stay staff person can um, take the animal on their own to the vet, wait in the waiting room, go in to see the vet with the pet, um, carefully document anything the pet, the, uh, the vet says, um, and um, take, and then the person can be billed, um, and then they bring that animal home safely. Nice. Now, I see in movies and such dog walkers with 15 dogs and a handful of dog leashes <laughs> right. being dragged down the street. If yeah. I hire you, is that what my dog is going to be doing? Well, certainly not at this point, not this year <laughs> anyway, because um, each of our dogs is walked on their own unless, of course, they live with another dog, you know, like if it's mm. their brother or sister. So, um, but usually um, our staff and volunteers are walking one dog at a time um, or taking one dog, say, to a safe dog park, that kind of thing, if the customer wants that. Um, so when we become really successful, <laughs> um, maybe there'll be two or three dogs for a volunteer or a staff person. Now you have mentioned um, non-traditional animals, like obviously cats and dogs are, mm -hmm. are traditional, but yeah. what if I have um, chickens or goats or guinea pigs or a fish tank? Well, you name it, we can do it. Um, we can clean out your fish tank. We can take care of backyard chickens. I have backyard chickens. Um, I have five hens, and so I'm familiar with cleaning out coops and um, all their favorite treats and what is safe for backyard chickens and what is not safe for them to eat. Um, I also have an Angora rabbit. I'm familiar with caring for rabbits. Uh, we also, in our family, we've had a skink, a fire skink, and they eat live crickets. So um, we're familiar with, <laughs> these are all, this is all the kind of training I can provide to my volunteers if they've never had a skink. I can teach them about um, how you they need to eat live crickets. Um, so we absolutely can take care of um, all sorts of animals, you name it. If there's an animal that we don't have skills um, caring for, um, I would let the customer know that we don't have those skills. Like, I'm not sure I know how to take care of a horse. However, mm -hmm. um, we certainly can take care of goats and sheep because um, I have some experience with that as well. So um, you've mentioned that you have pets. Yeah. Do most of your volunteers and your staff members have pets? And what type of experiences have they related to you? And yeah. Can, you, can sure. you tell me about any experiences that you've had through Stay Pet Services? Sure. Um, so, you know, some of my volunteers have, um, have pets and some don't. So it really depends on the person. Mm -hmm. um, in one case, it's very, uh, it's useful to stay that we have a person who lives right near the ocean, um, no pets of her own, and she boards dogs. So anyone who has a dog that can't be with other animals, that's a perfect boarding location for that dog. Mm -hmm. um, I have another staff person who has small dogs, and um, he loves his dogs, but um, he can't have another dog join him in the home. So he doesn't board dogs because one of his little Scotty is a little aggressive. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we have, um, we have folks with, a lot of our volunteers have cats of their own, two or three cats. You have cats, don't you? Yes, I have three cats. You have three cats, <laughs> yes. Yeah? Didn't intend to, but we ended up with three. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so. yeah. 
So yeah, cats, we serve a lot of people with their cats because, um, especially seniors, because as people get older, um, they have a harder, some people have a harder time cleaning those litter boxes, mm. um, cleaning up around the litter boxes. And um, that's when people start having a hard time with that, that's when um, you can hire stay to come in. Um, sometimes just a couple times a week can really get rid of that smell um, and keep those litter boxes clean. Now, if there's not a, a physical need, let's just say, like, I have three cats. Yeah. And their litter boxes are disgusting. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, it just, could I just hire Stay just to come in and take care of that just because I don't want to? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so it's not a, a, a medical or a physical need necessarily, no. although that could drive it. No, not at all. So. You certainly can hire us. <laughs> and, um, are, you, are stay pet services available on an emergency search situation? Like, um, let's say I'm hospitalized tonight mm. and all of a sudden I have three cats at home alone. How would I contact stay on an emergency situation and how does that get handled? Yeah, um, we do. We do do that. Um, so we have, I have a desk number and I'm there certain hours during the week, say Monday through Thursday, 9 to 4. You can reach mm -hmm. me at my desk. And other, any other time, I have a cell phone. I'm available by cell phone. And so um, I'm not going to give that out on the air. However, oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> however, um, should you become one of our customers, you'll have that cell phone. And then you could reach me at any time. Um, I carry that with me on the weekends. And, um, so, you know, we get back to people within 24 hours. That's really what our goal is. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if, it's, if you call at 6 o'clock on a Friday night and I have a busy weekend, there may be, you know, it may take me 24 hours to get back to you. But um, we are available. Um, I have all of my volunteers and uh, staff phone numbers in the cell phone. So all I need to do is send out an alert that someone in wherever, Ipswich or Topsfield or wherever, um, needs pet care um, and then we can arrange with the family to get a key to the home and we can go in and care for those cats wow so yeah well that's reassuring because it's always a concern mm. I, and i know that from working at senior care i've heard of many stories of seniors who have put off medical medically needed mm. procedures because they didn't want to leave fluffy at home alone right and they didn't have somebody to take care of them yeah, that's why we're here so yeah can i want to show the t-shirt oh um, that's right so i brought the state t-shirt because i wanted to um to show that any person that is coming into your home will have this bright red t-shirt on and the back of it oh well there's your phone number that's right there it is <laughs> and i'm sure that um we'll also be flashing it later right so yeah. all of our volunteers and staff wear this t-shirt and it's easy to see them excellent um, so, so Stay Pet Services mm -hmm. serves elders, adults living with disabilities, families, mm -hmm. individuals, anybody who just needs or wants some help with their, their pets. That's right. Yeah, you got it. it we can serve really anyone. Um, and let me make sure I named all the different things we do. We yes. Do, we do, do, do dog walking. Okay. Of course, so we can walk your dog, um, and we can walk your dog on the weekends even, or early morning or in the evening, so we're available all the time for dog walking. Um, we do in-home pet care, um, regardless of whether you have one cat or three dogs or a skink or whatever. Um, we do pet transport, and I've already explained that. Yeah. And then we do um, dog boarding in um, uh, private homes. Okay. So I think I got it all. The other new thing that we're doing is we're providing pet services for travelers. Since we oh. have a lot of tourists in Gloucester and Rockport and Beverly, and uh, as, the su as the weather gets warmer, um, we'll be providing pet services for travelers as well. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go back to your in-home pet care. So sure. Um, let's say I go away for a week and I need you to come in and take care of my three brats. <laughs> oh, I mean my three cats. <laughs> um, 
you would feed them, so you'd come in twice a day to feed them, scoop their boxes once a day. Could I ask you to pick up my mail? Yeah, sure. Um, or do so, other things like that? That Absolutely. One of the things that we do in STAY is we have an initial, I really like to have an initial meeting with every customer so that I really can learn what they need when, we're gonna, when they're going to be away and what their normal habits are of that dog or cat or whatever. Cool. So if there are plants to water, I learn that. If you want me to bring in the newspaper, we do that. And then I take very careful notes so then I can relay that to my volunteer and my staff person. Um, so absolutely, we can change the lights in the house. We can make sure that door stays open where the, the litter box is so that the door doesn't get slammed <laughs> shut and then the cat ends up going all over the carpet, which would be a disaster, right, while you're away. So yeah, we really are very careful um, to make sure we're meeting the needs of the person that hires us as well as the pet. Well, that's, um, it brought back a, a story when I was a kid, we had somebody watching our dogs as we went on vacation, mm -hmm. and they brought in our newspaper every day. Unfortunately, we didn't get the newspaper, <laughs> and they were bringing in the neighbor's newspaper every day, and our neighbor was a little distressed with oh, us no. when we got home. <laughs> so oh, no. thank you so much for um, joining me today. Um, real quick, yep. if somebody needs to get a hold of Stay Pet Services, how do they do that? So there are few ways to do that. Mm -hmm. On our website, we have a contact tab so they can contact us directly from the website. And the website is? StayPetServices.org. Yep. That's fine. We have a phone number, 978-865-3518. Okay. I'll say that again, 978-865-3518. And also, um, they, I can be emailed at info at staypetservices.org. Awesome. Well, thank you again for joining me today, Sharon. And thank you so much for having me. Well, that's uh, anytime, all the time. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching Living Wisely, Aging Well. To learn more about how senior care might serve you or your family, please give us a call at 978 281 1750 and ask to, uh, to speak with our information and referral services. These folks can also put you in touch with Sharon at State Pet Services. Have a good day.